Hey guys, welcome to the Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkoviak. We're going to take a second. I'm going to show you my new bow that I got from Steve Ture over at Northern Miss Longbows. Awesome bow. Love Steve's bows. I've been shooting his bows now for uh, for a few years. I want to say, got to be pushing about four years. I bought my first one about four years ago. This is my third one. Uh, my other two are Baragas, which I've shown you videos on. So if you haven't checked those out, check them out. I'll probably even put a link to those at the end of this here for you so you can see them in there. But uh, uh, this one, a little different. This is actually his classic. This is a Northern Mist Classic Longbow. And you can tell by the look of it, you have pure straight limbs okay see how the limbs are 100% straight there's no reflex deflex in them whatsoever straight limb longbow and it has a uh, straight grip on there straight um, you know straight grip no locator no nothing in there uh, just sweet simple classic traditional style longbow which was what I was looking for I love this setup. I'm going to take it. I'll string it, bring you outside. Uh, we'll shoot a couple arrows out of it. I'll explain some of the things about it, about it that are really cool, and we'll go through it. But I'll bring you out there to show you the setup of it, that kind of stuff. I just wanted you to see it before I did so you could see it in that unstrung position so you can see what makes it that classic here, what that design is, that straight limb longbow with that straight grip on there. Uh, kind of the way they've been for a long time, often referred to as a hill-style bow, uh, called an American semi longbow or ASL well this is that type of bow so uh, we're going to string her up get her out there and uh, I'll take we'll take it from there here it is we got a Bacote riser on there we have quilted maple limbs uh, on quilted maple limbs and bamboo cores throughout this thing and you can see just that super pretty design uh, the limb tips have got a uh, red diamond wood wedge built right into them there not sure if my camera is going to focus right there very well for you I'm this is not the best camera here but uh, as you can see the diamond wood wedges in there but just absolute beautiful beautiful looking bow and just a solid shooter this bow is 64 inches long it is 57 pounds at 26 inches and uh, I, I just cannot rave enough about it it's your, the northern miss classic model with a straight limb uh, or a straight handle on there there's no dish or no uh, locator grip or anything in there just an absolute incredible bow and uh, just simply gorgeous now again uh, as I think I said earlier uh, that this black uh, rubber grip and uh, black leather rest is something I put on there when I, if you want to see what it looked like when it came from Steve with the brown leather uh, on there you can go to my Instagram which is Jason Sam Koviak uh, S-A-M-K-O-W-I-A-K -A -A on Instagram and that will show you uh, what it looked like when I got it yesterday but I went ahead and put that stuff on there made my own string here for it like I do and stuff like that but there it is for you absolutely just incredible bow I, I cannot rave enough um, about this thing and like I said uh, that quilted maple is just gorgeous I love the bamboo cores I've had him now in all the bows that Steve's made for me uh, he put them in there automatically on the first bow I got and I just that was the first time I ever shot with a bamboo core bow and I loved it I've shot a lot of them with maple shot a, I mean there's a lot of great bow woods out there and I've had a bunch of different bows in different woods but that bamboo uh, just felt incredible so I kind of that was the only thing I told him I wanted done on here I don't care what you put in there what woods it is just make sure it's bamboo cores and uh, it turned out fantastic I cannot rave enough about it and uh, so we're going to take it and we're going to shoot it and I'll show you some different angles of it so you can see it flex but that is that bow uh, right there and I, I love the shape of it that true 100% D shape that you get out of that bow is just gorgeous I, I i just cannot rave enough like i said uh he builds amazing stuff and this is no different uh, i'm just thrilled as can be i can't rave enough about it so let me uh, go get it set up on a tripod here i'll draw it a few times let you see what you think of it there it is fully in a strong position so you can see what it looks like here uh, i love the shape of this bow just absolutely incredible i'm gonna fire a couple shots real fast for you so you can see what it's all about see what it looks like as it's flexing and full draw Just love the stability out of this bow. It shoots like an absolute champ. I cannot rave enough about it. And it puts the arrows exactly where you want. Just like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. There it is. I'll show you another angle so you can kind of see something else in there as well too, but I'm loving this bow. Show you one more shot here just so you can get that angle. Go. 
one more. I think I'm about to run out of camera battery, but I might get one more arrow in there before it does. Um, just incredible. Cannot rave enough about this bow. Absolutely love it. Steve did an incredible job on it, as he does with every single bow. I've never in my life ever heard anybody ever not be happy with one of Steve's bows, his Northern Miss Longbows. This is no exception. I just cannot rave enough about the quality, the fit and finish. This thing is just incredible. So uh, thanks for watching. Glad you enjoyed it. And I'll be back with more stuff here soon. I may actually, like I said, do one more angle here for you. Got it real fast. And uh, then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll cut it off. So thanks again. Bye. Zero hand shock in this thing, no nothing. Love the way this thing shoots. So there you have it. Uh, that's an example of it right there. Northern Miss Longbow, Steve Terray, absolutely incredible. Uh, the classic model.